Welcome to the second half of the season and welcome to another edition of Eye on the Islanders. I'm Darcy Cudmore, standing with the head coach and general manager of the Charlottetown Islanders. And Jim, uh, tonight against Halifax, you'll be a head coach for the Charlottetown Islanders. The last couple weeks, you've been more of a general manager. You've made three deals and tonight, four Islanders will make their debut. And I guess we'll start with maybe you talking about how the Islanders might be better tonight than they were in the first half of the season. Well, as you alluded to, it was a big deal with uh, Gatineau, a seven-player deal. Um, four guys leaving our room, which is a difficult aspect of the game, but very excited with the three new additions in uh, Graham and Bauer, 18-year-old goaltender that we think has got big potential, not only now, but also into the future, and then two 19-year-old defensemen in Malosh and Califer. Uh, Malosh is a second-round draft pick of the Colorado Avalanche in the NHL, a big six-foot-three right-handed shot defenseman who should step in seamlessly with uh, Gideon Brisebois, existing chemistry there, and I think kind of under the radar is uh, J.S. Califer. Uh, he's a Gritty, hard to play against, come and kill guy that I think is really going to help us. And then, not to be able to dumbbell, all that was the addition of Will Bauer from Moncton. And Will is kind of a versatile all around Simon. And again, I think it's really going to help the penalty kill and then fill in some valuable minutes down the stretch. Um, and of course, with the good comes the bad, and you've had to say goodbye to a few uh, long time Islanders. Yeah, very difficult to say goodbye to, in particular, Will Thompson, who'd been here a long time. Will was one of the leaders on our team and, and a first class kid all around. And it was a very difficult phone call on both sides of the phone that night, but unfortunately in this business you have to give to get. And, and we, we paid a big price in Will and with Sean Boutria and Carl Gervais, two young kids that we know are going to have bright futures here, along with Mark Olivier Lane, who we didn't get to know that well being our first round draft pick last year, but uh, that's the price of the business nowadays. And we're excited with the additions, but that's sad to see the guys go. Um, now, Daniel Sprong also returning to Charlottetown. He will not play tonight. Uh, maybe we'll get you to give a little bit of a timeline when Daniel should uh, be in the lineup uh, and make his 2016-17 season debut. Yeah, Daniel, as everyone knows, is still rehabbing from the shoulder surgery that he had in Pittsburgh. They've asked for 10 days of full contact practice, basically starting yesterday. So the projected date of his return would be January 6th, 7th. The uh, back-to-back home dates against Cape Breton uh, would be a, a great twist to talking to NPI the day on the 7th. So fantastic it's finally seeing back in the now we'll switch to uh, Philip Slapping for a second uh, Philip making waves all season long with the Islanders here signing a pro contract with the Ottawa Senators in the last couple of weeks and now at the international stage getting two goals the other day um, talk about Philip uh, Philip Slapping and how he's progressed this season well he's been wonderful right from the beginning of the season he came in uh, Newly charged attitudes, a uh, different player off the ice, different player on the ice. It was terrific to see him first and foremost sign that pro contract. You know, it's the next step in the journey of his dream. And then to see how well he's playing, uh, representing his country on the world stage is, is fantastic for all of us. And it bodes well for a big second half from Phil. Now we talked about this the other day, but not on camera. I talked about uh, how important it is to uh, hopefully have a strong start to the second half of the season. Well, we certainly did have a great finish to it. It was a very, very good first half, so we want to make sure that the energy level is high here tonight. I think anytime you infuse new people into the dressing room, there's a sense of giddiness and an anticipation and excitement. And that was evident that we had a great morning skate this morning, and the guys look really ready. So I think the energy from the building is going to help us poke all through tonight. Okay, Jim Bolton, uh, the second half starts tonight against Halifax. Four Islanders making their debut. Come on out here, 7 o'clock start, and we'll get things started for the second half of the 2016-17 season.